Deputy Verona Murphy on behalf of the regional group. Thank you, Ciarán Corla. Taoiseach, I hope you had the opportunity to read David McWilliams' article in the Irish Times on Saturday, giving his opinion on the budget with regard to housing. But if you didn't get a chance to read it, let me put some of the main points to you. He starts off by highlighting the folly of awarding a tax break on mortgages, which sounds nice in theory, but in practice just helps to ensure that house prices remain higher than they need to be. He moves and argues that a move, he argues, that will not lead to a single extra house being built. Indeed, he says if tax breaks are given every time interest rates rise, then house prices will rise regardless of whether interest rates rise or fall. Mr McWilliams moves on to highlight the problem of the rental tax credit, not a long-term solution to any problem, and more likely to put a floor on rents, which could possibly drive up rental costs. His next target for criticism was the tax break for landlords. Yes, we need people to be landlords, and we need to have conditions that encourage people to rent out property rather other than having it lying idle, but the tax break is hardly a necessary way to spend money. High rents and high demand should be enough for an of an incentive for landlords to rent out property, and making it more straightforward in terms of regulation and red tape would have been a better option. Landlords would be better served by a functioning RTB, where issues were dealt with in a timely manner. He also writes, instead of doing something that would boost building, like, say, cutting development levies or funding them through higher local property tax or cutting VAT on new bills, parties of the centre have adopted the nonsensical policy option advocated by Sinn Féin, and government should be confidently highlighting the ideological difference between themselves and Sinn Féin, rather than robbing Sinn Féin's clothes. Well, Taoiseach, pre-budget I met both Ministers McGrath and Donoghue as part of the re regional group delegation, and part of that discussion was about interest rate rises having risen by 4.25% since July of last year, leaving first-time buyers stretched to their limits to purchase the most basic housing units in regional Ireland. And before interest rates started to rise, first-time buyers' inability to obtain sufficient mortgage approvals was a significant component of the housing crisis. And as a result of higher interest rates, banks have changed their underwriting criteria, resulting in first-time buyers being able to borrow considerably less than a year ago, approximately 50,000 per, per couple. I put two proposals to the ministers. One, that a mortgage interest relief scheme granting tax relief to first-time buyers, which would give banks more flexibility underwriting larger mortgages for first-time buyers, such that those on marginal incomes could get a mortgage sufficient to buy a home. And the second was, in addition, that the government would need to rebate the VAT on new homes directly to first-time buyers, immediately after taking possession of their homes. On, say, 325,000 homes, this would amount to 38,656. Uh, 38, I'd ask you, Taoiseach, would you now consider some of these proposals. The measures would be temporary, they would be reviewed when Eurobar rates reduce below 2%, but they most certainly would increase the prospects of housing, house building becoming viable and ensuring that buyers were in the market in the future. Taoiseach, please. Um, Deputy, we will we'll always consider uh, good proposals from uh, other people and from the opposition. I think we have shown that when it comes to housing policy. Uh, taken a number of steps uh, in recent years and recent months that perhaps we wouldn't have done previously. So uh, we'll always consider these things. Um, but we do need to be careful around demand side, d demand side measures. I'm not against demand side measures, but we do need to be careful about them because of the risk uh, that they can have I in terms of um, uh, 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 putting up property prices. Uh, in relation to, to David Williams' uh, article, I, I, I did read it. Um, Dave is a very good commentator um, and a very interesting one, but I disagree with his analysis on this occasion. Uh, and let me tell you why. Uh, because there were five things in the budget, or we've done five things um, in the budget uh, and before the budget uh, that I think do make a difference, and they weren't accounted for in the article. Uh, first of all, uh, in the budget, we approved a €5 billion Euro budget for housing. That will allow us to break all records in terms of the provision of new public housing next year social, cost rental and affordable. We will break all records next year uh, because of that budget. Uh, second, we increased the rent credit to €750 Euros for a single person, 1500 for a couple, uh, putting roughly a month's rent back uh, in people's pockets. Third, we extended the help to buy, uh, and the help to buy helps a lot of first-time buyers to get their deposit. 
they would not be able to even bid for a house if it was not for help to buy. And I am glad we extended that for another year. And we also put in place uh, tax breaks um, for small landlords to encourage them to stay in the market, uh, something that had been advocated by the regional independents uh, only a few months ago. Uh, and uh, Mr. McWilliams suggests that we should cut development levies. We have done more than that. They are gone. Uh, we got rid of them uh, a few months ago. Uh, and if anybody says uh, that this government is only interested in demand-side demand measures, that is totally incorrect. We have supply-side measures as well. The suspension of the development levies is an example of that. Um, the grants to renovate and do up derelict properties, uh, 4,000 applications already, that is another example uh, of a supply-side measure. And the reforms that we are making to the planning system are a further example uh, of supply-side measures. Sir, well, Taoiseach, I can't say I agree with you on many of those points. I would say that when you say demand-led measures, the demand that you're aiming for is a target of 30,000. That's actually half of what the Housing Commission says we should be aiming for. For the past 10 years, we've occurred a deficit of 250,000 homes, 25,000 a year less than we should have been building. So if you continue with your attitude, Taoiseach, we will end up with another 250,000 deficit on top of the deficit we already have. Your targets are far too low. The Housing Commission says we need to be building between 45 and 65,000 homes annually. And I think you're greatly underestimating the level of anger and frustration that's among families who are unable to get students into college accommodation, they're unable to get their own families to move out for the want of accommodation, and furthermore, they're actually taking back their sons and daughters with grandchildren. So I think you should read the article again and please consider the proposals I have put Thank to you, you because we need to build more houses and ensure that they are viable into the future. Thank you, Deputy Taoiseach, please. Um, thanks, Deputy. When I, when I first became Taoiseach back in 2017, uh, we were only building about 14,000 new homes every year in the state. Uh, that has now more than doubled. We're up to 30,000. Uh, and I would like to see it double again, quite frankly, uh, by the end of the decade, and I believe that is possible. The target that we have set of building 29,000 new homes this year is a target, not a ceiling. Uh, and we intend to exceed it, uh, just as we did last year. And Mr. Bryan is now working on revised targets uh, for the years ahead. We have advice from the Housing Commission. We also have advice from the SRI, and we have to take both sets of advice in, in, into account. But it is my expectation that early in the new year, we will increase our housing targets uh, for the years ahead uh, for the reasons uh, that you said we should. And I think we should also include in those housing targets uh, student accommodation, which currently counts for nothing. That doesn't make sense to me. And we should also include in those targets uh, the bringing of derelict and vacant homes uh, back into use, because at the moment, again, uh, they, they count for nothing. Uh, and they should count, uh, in my view. Thank you, Taoiseach. No.